Yo, this is JD Zero bringing you another Middle Cup Jam Challenge Wi Fi battle against Jack. This is rematch number four, and this is episode uh, 90. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's episode nine, rematch four. So, uh, let's see. Because I think he was making some changes, or he, if he didn't make any changes, he probably either most likely basically what I'm thinking that might be happening is he went away do some stuff and he came back and he's gonna use the same team he has right about now that's my obvious opinion that's probably gonna be the thing that he's probably having unless he did make some changes let's check ooh okay so he kept the two uh, rap boots. That's fine. He ended up changing Pikachu for what you call it? What is this Pokemon's name? Dual Blade. So we got a Dual Blade. That's interesting. Hmm. How do we deal with Dual Blades? How do we deal with Dual Blades? Uh, we're gonna lead off with Zeke <laughs> because. If I'm a betting type of person, most likely Dewblades does not come out. I know Zeke can handle Dewblades, but if Zeke does, if Zeke has nothing to do with Dewblades just yet, if he if he's not gonna set out Dewblades first, I think Zeke has it in the bag to deal with any Pokemon that does come in at first hand, and then pretty much paralyze anything afterwards, and then probably set up. Ooh. Okay. So this is very interesting. Um, you're gonna go for a fake out. That's 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 again. My thing here is to maybe possibly as paralyzed and then set up. That's my guarantee here is to paralyze setup, fake out paralyze setup, fake out paralyze setup. He goes for the bulk up. Nice play, nice play on the bulk up. Do you have any status settings on you? You don't have any status settings. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since I do have Dazzling Gleam, I am gonna go for the Stop Boosturo. And he's gonna go for another bulk up. That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We're at plus two now. Uh, we could go ahead and take out the Machoke. Machoke. Because we're already at plus two. And plus two definitely guarantees us a victory here. When it comes to taking out the Machoke. And now the fact that he seems that I do have Dazzling Gleam. I don't think any of his mons would come out to that. And as he has a Pokemon that will withstand the Dewblade. I freaking knew he was going to choose the Dewblade. I obviously. Okay, so. Okay. So, Dewblade is not a super. It's not an effective Pokemon because of the fact that it is a Steel type. Even though it's a Steel Ghost type, this is what makes it un. Relentlessly on the okay, okay. Oh snap! That did so much damage. Uh, shoot. Okay, so we're just kind of like baking on him being paralyzed, so we could just do damage. So we're gonna go for a dazzling gleam. It's gonna be not effective much, but we do get a chunk of damage out. Goes for the secret sword. Ah, secret sword. Darn. That sucks. Um, so yeah, I would say, oh, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but it did a pretty good amount of damage. I would say it did a pretty decently good amount of damage. Uh, what super effective? Ooh, hello, SBO, SBO. Let's go into SBO. SBO should be like able to. Combating this Pokemon, we're gonna go for a sucker punch. 
if this Pokemon does not switch out, it goes for the attack. I do get the Sucker Punch off. Nice, nice, nice. We got the Dual Blade out of there. So we, I guess we do have somewhat of a set to deal with Dual Blade. That's, that's, that's cool. I mean, to change one Pokemon is one thing. That's all I gotta say. By changing one Pokemon is one thing. Um, what I'm gonna do is, ooh, I'm gonna go for the U-turn. I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Because U-turn is super effective against, Bug is super effective against Grass. I wanna get like half of the damage off of that and then swap out. Um, let's see, who could I go into? Who could I go into? I could go into J-Chan. I mean, J-Chan is gonna probably deal with some a little bit of damage here. I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna go for taunt. Ooh, why did I knew? What? Why did I knew that? Why? Why did I know that? Um, uh, that's fine. Taunt is fine. Taunt is fine. I'm not really complaining about taunt. My thing is, at this moment in time, is to probably, maybe, most likely, go for the blaze kick. To see who I can get damage off anyway. And he's gonna go into his Drizzle. So I'm gonna get a little bit of damage off of the Drizzle. And I'm gonna have to swap out. He avoid Drizzle avoid the attack. What? What? Um, okay. I was not expecting the Drizzle to avoid the attack. So we're gonna go ahead and swap J Chen out. Because we don't want J Chen dealing with that particular Pokemon. We're going to switch it to our auto and auto dealing with the mud of muds. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. fine. Um, we're going to go for a fake out. Give some uh, priority damage because he did drop our speed. That's fine by me by dropping my speed. That's fine by me. Um, all you can do is either switch out, have some other Pokemon to take the damage, or he's gonna basically stay in, take the damage, and expect me to go for a wood hammer. Because that's all he can do is predict me to go for a wood hammer, when mostly I wouldn't go for a wood hammer. Hey, nice prediction there, nice prediction there, nice prediction there. That, that's what we do, that's what we do. So, now we got some damage off. Um, I'm gonna taunt. I don't mind giving. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. D. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We go for the taunt. Was able to miss the taunt. That's fine. Um, we gotta go into uh, SPO here. Um. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to at least get a free switch in. I'm gonna try to get a free switch in. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna go for a liquidation first. We're gonna go for a liquidation. Because I technically probably do outspeed the Raboot. So I'm hoping that he just stays in his Raboot and take the hit or swap out and have another Pokemon take the hit. He swapped out. He goes into his own Drizzle. His Drizzle is going to take some damage. From Liquidation. So not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, we're going to go for the U-turn. Get some more effective damage off. Not too bad damage, not too bad damage, not too bad damage. Um, my thing is to go into uh, Alex here. Um, now this is a hard play. This is a very hard play. He's gonna go for the mud slap, the mud shot or mud slap. Did I get some speed down? That's fine. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go for a nice bulk up. 
because I should be able to survive another hit from Drizal. So he's gonna withdraw his Drizal, goes into the rap booth. Now I don't think he knows that I have Rock Slide. Of course, I don't think he knows I have Rock Slide, which is fine. Which is perfectly fine by me. You don't have to know if I have Rock Slide or not. That's perfectly fine by me. But I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide because I didn't go for the Rock Slide the first time. And Rock Slide shit hit. It should connect when he's in air. Rock Slide goes off. He voiced the attack. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um. Just by luck, right? Just by luck. Uh, we're gonna swap out. We're gonna swap out. I don't care if I do have a beast on it. I'm gonna swap out. Cause that that sucks. That honestly sucks. Because I was expecting to at least somehow get a sure win of that. At least a sure win of that. I was kind of hoping to get a sure a. a sure win for that but that was not the case rock slide was not the case at least he knows I have freaking rock slide but it's just like uh, the fact that it, it missed that sucks rock slide you're, you're the vein of my existence right now you're the vein of my existence um so now if that just happened all I could do is most likely go for a water move hoping he stays in he withdraws okay says I'll back out his drizzle to take another standard damage That puts it at a point where I could KO it. Which is good enough for me. Because then I could just go for a good U turn. Which is fine. I wouldn't mind going for that U turn any day of the week. Now, he could bring back out his. His, uh. I want to bring in J Chan. I, I took out the Pokemon that could pretty much take out J Chan for the most part, so I'm gonna bring in J Chan. Because I don't think any Pokemon could really like do any damage to J Chan. I could probably get J Chan a boost of one. And if I could get it to boost of one, maybe I could let a high jump kick. I'm just banking on the fact that I could at least get a high jump kick. Um but I'm hoping to get the bulk up. I'm hoping to get at least one or two bulk ups, most likely. I do win the speed tie. He goes for the counter. Oh my gosh, this man. Try to go for a counter. Ugh. Ugh. I went for another speed tie. Excuse me. Whew. What is he trying to go? He got to go for the bounce. Okay, he sprung up. That's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. I'm a fire type. Pure fire type. Uh, that won't do any damage to me. I would have tried to go for another bulk up. So I'm at plus three. So I know that flying type move would not do as much damage in these two. Hoping that it's not a crit. Hoping. Hoping is hoping, right? And we don't get paralyzed either. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, we're at three. Am I greedy? I'm greedy. Let's go for another four bulk ups. Let's go for four bulk ups. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Go for four bulk ups. For basically four plus four plus four. Total eight bulk ups. Attack for the four. Uh, defense for the four. We did avoid the attack. So the attack does fail. Um, we're gonna go for a high jump kick. I'm I'm feeling a little bit generous here. We're gonna go for a high jump kick. J Chan shit lend his high jump kick. 
I'm hoping he lands this high jump kick because it would be amazing to land this high jump kick against another Pokemon. J Chen for the VVs. High jump kick does go and it does land. It does take out her Raboot. I mean, uh, his Raboot. J Chen does take out the Raboot. So that's awesome. That's GG on that Raboot. That they can beat J Chen. When it comes to a victory, victory. All right, so now we go for the blaze kick. It's an amazing move. This amazing J. Oh my gosh! Really, J. Chat? Really? You a how? How you miss a blaze kick? How did this little grass Pokemon miss your freaking kicks? You can't do that, J. Chan. You can't be missing kicks. Can't be missing kicks. That's bueno. That's bad. That's bad, Jay. That's bad. You can't be missing quick kick, 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 kicks. So swapped out back into the other review. We are able to lend the blaze kick. Blaze kick does just demolish the raboots. So now there's two raboots that are out. All he needs to go is back into his twicky here. His thicky. His thicky wicky. His thicky tiki. Tiki Iki Wiki. Uh, we're gonna go ahead for another blaze kick, hoping that we land these another blaze kick kick. And we're gonna go ahead and message GG to Jake. There we go, GG. Let's get it. So we won another match against Jake. Uh, hopefully Jake uh, somehow master up a win against us again, and maybe he will be able to get his gym badge. Uh, again, guys, thank you guys for coming out to checking out this uh, match. Thank you guys for uh, for the support. Uh, we're at 612 subscribers of making this video. Again, hopefully we can reach further beyond. Hopefully we can reach, I guess, 620 subscribers by the end of this month. And then hopefully we can reach 630 a month afterwards. We need... We just we like to slowly but growly, you know, guys. We always like to do that. Um, but see you guys. Bye.